Has anybody here that's not ever felt guilty about something you've done? The bad part is we keep it. We keep that guilt until we don't even know what happened. We just feel bad because we feel guilty. In fact, we are born guilty. All have sinned, come short of the glory of God. There's none righteous. No, not one. But we have a chorus on the end of the sermon. I want you to sing it with me now so we'll be ready at the end of the sermon. Okay, get your buff-colored paper, and at the end of the sermon notes, everybody see that buff-colored? Okay. On the end of the notes, turn it over, you'll see the notes. There we go. (laughs) He careth for you. He careth for you. Through sunshine and shadows, he careth for you. Once again now, he careth for you. He careth for you. Through sunshine and shadows, he careth for you. I have... I, when I planned the sermon, I thought I would tell you everything I've been guilty of. Uh, <laughs> Carol and David, can you get breakfast for us tomorrow morning too? <laughs> I have done so many things in my life that I feel guilty about. Does anybody else feel like that? And you think, why did I do that? Or why didn't I do that? How did that happen? And we carry this burden of guilt. But I want you to know, sing it with me. He careth for you. He careth for you. In sunshine and shadows, he careth for you. Job, one of the finest men that ever lived, carried the burden of guilt. Guilt to the part he didn't even know what he was guilty of. It was, a, it was a burden on him. And all human beings who have a conscience deal with guilt. Another thing we deal with is anger. Is there anybody here that's never been angry? Is there, is there anybody here that's not been angry without a cause and found out later that you shouldn't have been angry? It's happened to me. We are quick to be angry and slow to be forgiving. That's our human nature. And when you are burdened down with anger over something you've done or something somebody else has done or just the circumstances, remember this. He careth for you. He careth for you. In sunshine and shadows, he careth for you. Anger is a terrible thing to deal with. Going back again to guilt, we have two men in the New Testament that denied their Christ, who gave him up to be crucified. We have Peter and Judas. Judas tried to take care of his own guilt and ended up hanging himself. And he even did that poorly because the rope broke and he fell on the boulders down below and his stomach was ripped wide open And then tell me that's the most painful, slow death there is. Terrible thing happened to him. He tried to deal with his own guilt to get over what he had done. The other man was Peter. And Peter denied Christ three times while Jesus was right there. And he went away sorrowful, but he came back to Jesus because he found out that he careth for you. He careth for you through sunshine and shadows. He careth for you. The third thing we see that we carry is fear. Fear is a terrible thing. It has torments. We read the story of Diane. Diana? In the Old Testament, the judge? Deborah. There we go. I have my corrector in the back. Thank you. Deborah. Deborah was not afraid of anything. She knew if she did what God told her to do, no matter what the odds were, she would make it through and it would, be, it would work out. Her general, General Barrick, wanted to spend his time in the barracks. 
and he was afraid of the battles. He lived in fear, and he paid for it dearly. At the end of the experience that you read about in Judges, that Barak went back to the barracks, a defeated man, though his army had won. He was defeated in his own spirit because he did not trust and he feared. Fear is a terrible thing, has torments. But perfect love cast out all fear. Say it with me. Perfect love cast out all fears. Who is perfect love? Jesus. And when things get really hard and tough on you and fear is crouching about you and causing you nothing but anguish, go to Jesus because he careth for you. He careth for you in sunshine and shadows. He careth for you. We're going to have a little skit to try to point out the fact that anger, guilt, and fear will call, cause us nothing but turmoil within our heart and our mind. And we, if we carry these things around, it will cause us not only spiritual, but physical anguish. It will cause us to be sick, not just physically, spiritually, but physically. Fear, anger, guilt, are cause us to just be in a dark cave with no light. But there is a light. So we're looking at what happens when a person carries guilt, anger, and fear. We have a couple of men who are going to show you what happens at that time. Carry this pack for me. It's heavy. You carrying that same pack too? Yes. Is yours heavy, heavy too? Yes. Wow. How long have you guys been carrying these things? All my life I've been carrying these. Right up to your mouth you've been carrying it. Yeah. All my life and it's heavy. Yeah. And what about you, Tony? Have you, been, you had trouble with guilt and anger and fear? Yes, forever. Forever it seems like? Forever it seems like. Well, I want to introduce you, you, you gentlemen to a man that can take care of that fear and the angry spirit that you have. Right over here, this man, his name is Jesus. Jesus. Who's Jesus. Jesus. He's the son of God. I'm Jesus. And he died on the cross for us. Look at Nice to meet you. I died on the cross over here so I could take away your sin, your anger, your guilt, and in exchange for that, give you love, peace, and joy. So if you just give me your anger, fear, and guilt. Just leave it at the cross there, guys. Right at the base of the cross. Take know. out your... your I don't know if I want that stuff. Oh, I've been carrying it. this stuff so long, I just, just kind of can't live without it. You don't think you can live without it? I don't think I can live without it. Try I just want to give you it so long. Try it. Try, try it. Ooh. First, you got to help me pick it up, though. <laughs> you got to get rid of that. What's in your pack? Why don't you just set it down and pull it out so we can see what's in there? It's, it's full of my, my life, my life history. Your life history? Yes. Your, your history's fear. fear? My fear. Well, what are you going to do with that, Jesus? Right at the cross. Wow. But that's I need heavy. That. No, no, I can't no, no, no. It's that. okay. It's okay. I'll, I'll give you joy instead of fear. How I about got, that? I got this anger too. That you know, it's been carrying with me forever. It's okay. I'll, me, I'll take this for no, you. I'll take it. No. I can't how about it. how about I give you peace instead of anger? Wow. All right. Peace. Yeah. Peace. Just hold it. It's a, it's a lot lighter. Wow. Put this and, by the cross. I got this guilt. <laughs> Now this one's oh. really been with me. This one, this one's a really heavy one. But, yeah, I but can't I'm live without you, it. I'm gonna give you the lightest of all of them. Okay, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you love. Wow. wow. Well, Put those in your pack and try them. So try I've those out. I've never experienced these things. I don't know anything about them. Love. I can't live without those. Can love. I have them back? Love. No, no, no. Please. No. No. Okay. It's okay. You take these. these. See what happens. See what, oh, see what happens. Well, why don't you t go back there and just enjoy your freedom? And we'll, we'll be talking to you in a minute. This is Tony. Tony. Tony, what you been doing here? Um, been carrying this my whole life. That's all I know. What is, what's in there? Um, fear. Fear. Guilt. Guilt. Anger. Oh. Anger. All, all those. All that, all that stuff. Well, you better get it, get it would, out of would there. Would you like to change that out? I don't know. I don't know if there's another way. There is another way. So how, for fear, I give you peace. How's that feel? It feels it's a lot lighter. A lot, a lot lighter. lighter. What else do you have in there? I got anger. Anger. I know that well. You know this one well. Yeah. Well, I'll give you something you can know better. Love. Anger. 
Anything else? Yes. Guilt. Ooh, a big one. Yeah, a big one there. You have a lot of guilt. Oh, yes. How about we trade that out for joy? Okay. There we go. Wow. Wow, that's a lot lighter. Does that feel better? Yes, it feels a lot better. Talk to him. Talk to him. It's a lot easier to carry, isn't it? A lot. A lot lighter. You can move faster, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's a nice feeling, huh? Uh-huh. I love it. Oh, it's much better, much better. I'm glad you enjoy it. Wow. Guilt, anger, and fear can cause us all kinds of trouble in our mind, in our heart, in our physical body. And sometimes, sometimes we get to the place where we just feel like we have to have it. We've had it for our whole life. And when we hear we can leave it at the cross, as they have done, then, wow, this is great. Jesus, would you come back for a moment, please? I, I, how many like to talk to Jesus every once in a while? Isn't that a great idea? Yeah. Come on back here, Jesus. I, I, I need to talk to you for a minute. Well, uh -oh. these, these guys were carrying all these burdens all this time, mm -hmm. and all they had to do was what? Give it to me. Yeah, and leave it at your cross. Le Did you pay for all that at, at the cross? I paid for all that and more. Wow. Well, not, not only those sins, but everyone's sins. Wow. Wow. You know, I, I wonder what happened to these men now that they, now that they have love, joy, and peace. Uh, I, I wonder if they're happy now. What do you think? I, I think they're happier now. I would you hope so. You think so? Do you think we can call them back in? One maybe? way to find out, huh? Yeah, I guess. So, so you took so, their guilt and gave them love? Mm -hmm. you so why, took, why don't we have Dennis come back in? Dennis? Yeah. Oh, all right. Dennis, come on back in, Dennis. Come on. Oh, wow. You're looking good. You're, you, your back looks better. Yeah. You, you got a smile. What, what do you think, huh? I, I just can't live without that stuff. It's been you in, can't live without guilt and fear? It's been in my life so long, I just don't know what to do without it. You, don't you feel better? Well, I feel better, but I just can't live without my guilt and my fear and, and mm. anger. Now, I can't force you to, to take love and peace and joy. So if you want fear and guilt and anger, you can have that. But I'm offering you peace and love. Where's your back? I think I want my fear and stuff back. It was just, I was so much comfortable with it. I took it from you. I can't keep it from you, though. Can I have it? Thank you. I, I don't understand that, Jesus. You, you took all that big burden away from him? People do funny things. Hey. But, but he left it at the cross, and now he's throwing love, joy, and peace away and picking up anger and fear and guilt, and it's going to hurt him. So, let's, is, let's see if we can get him back. Yeah, yeah. Does that feel any better, Dennis? It feels what it used to feel like. It feels good. It feels good? I like my anger. No, I no, anger's not it. good. <laughs> why, why don't you just drop that? Let me take it again for you. I, I, I won't turn you down. You think? Why don't I, don't I take know. your anger and your guilt? I think I better just, I better just hang on to it for a little Dennis, while. I, I'm begging you here. I'll take your guilt and your anger and trade you for love and peace. He was dancing coming out here. I wonder, what's he doing? I, I wonder if he's still feeling really good because he gave it up. Let, let's see. Tony, how are you? Wow. He's looking good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you feel with all that love and peace and joy in there? I feel great. I feel wonderful. You want to hold on to that? Yes, I think I'm going to. Good way. Good. All right. All right. Thank you. All right. Let's give him a hand, okay? All right. He careth for you. He careth for you. In sunshine and shadows, he careth for you, and he does. He said, come unto me, all ye that are weak and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So much easier to carry love, joy, and peace than guilt, anger, and fear. Father, thank you for giving us Jesus who took all of our sins away at the cross, past, present, and future, and gave us love, joy, and peace. In Christ's name we pray, and everybody said, Amen.